after you hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as stay tuned at the end of the video for the question of the day. Let's go! Zabo the Circle here, and I'm coming back with another video just to educate my people. Now, some of you may be wondering as to why I am out of suit right now, and that's because there's going to be this little first suiting 101 like mini series that I'm going to be doing throughout the next couple of weeks, where I'm going to be showing you guys some of like the fundamentals of first suiting, you know, things to do, how to do the do whenever you do the do, and of course, this first episode, which is very, very, very important, is how to clean your head, because when it comes to, you know, wearing your head on a regular basis, and you know, all the sweat that happens to it, and coming in contact with people, and all that, it's gonna accumulate some nastiness pretty quickly, and you need to keep it clean on a regular basis. Otherwise, it's just gonna smell really bad, and once that smell kinda sets in, it's really hard to deal with. So, if you keep the cleaning process, you know, already regular, you don't have to worry about that. And he is right here, good old Zabu head. Now, it didn't really accumulate that much dirt over time because most of the first suiting that I do is at home whenever I'm recording videos. I am, you know, slowly in the process of getting out more, making, you know, me meeting more people and stuff like that. And so, this little video series type thing will definitely help you guys out if you're planning on getting a suit or if you just got a suit, you know, you haven't quite learned all the ins and outs of taking care of your suits. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into how to clean your first suit head. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we're starting with my good old head here. There's a small little smudge right here on the face. You can kind of see it. Because when I was at Ichiban, I hugged one of my friends and she had like face makeup on or whatever. So it got on my head and we tried to wash it off in the hotel room, but it didn't really work out too well. So, hello hair. So instead of staining it, we're going to grab some nice hot water and put a little bit of awesome in there. Because that shit is awesome. Dollar store. <laughs> right? It's like not expensive at all. You know, you can get these brushes at the dollar store too, I believe. Uh, we actually got that at the hospital. That is a baby hairbrush. Well, any <laughs> brush with, you know, Soft some bristles. some good, nice bristles or whatever. And you don't have to, like, put super, super pressure on it. Because, remember, the fur is just kind of stitched on or glued on or however they made it. So it don't grow back. Yeah, so definitely use light brush strokes just to kind of break all the stuff up. And, of course, you'll rinse it later. Just get you some nice little stroke action right here. A little rubble dub dub, some stroke action. You stroke it, you stroke it. <laughs> well, some this more. is the only spot he really had on his suit. If you had like just a dusty spot or a dirty spot, anything, or if you just want to clean the whole head, you do this process throughout the whole head. Yeah, pretty much. This process will get out almost any spots because, like I say, most of them are just surface spots, unless of course you got like ink on you. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I was like, how the hell did that even happen? Pens are... But, you know, in which case, if you did get ink on you, then may God rest your soul or have mercy on something like that. You earned a new spot. Congratulations. Alright, All right, now, you turn on you some nice little cold water. Cold or hot, it doesn't really matter. Just You're just rinsing. Yeah, just give yourself some fresh water. If your head doesn't have, like, mechanical parts on the inside, then you can just rinse the head itself. Since mine has a fan in the muzzle, I kind of don't want to get that wet, if at all possible. So I just kind of, you know, go back and forth between the water, the brush, you know, rinse it off, get some water on there. We've got a little drippy nose right now, but that's all right. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just wash, rinse, repeat. You know, just keep on doing that. If the spot hasn't quite come out, you know, you can go back at it with the awesome. Just give it some more light brushes. And yeah, just give it a little razzle-dazzle. You can dab it dry. Like I say, you don't need, like, too much pressure. Because remember, it's not like it's real. <laughs> you just give it a light little dab just to get the water off. Of course, it'll still be pretty wet because water does set into the fur. So after you wipe it down, you know, just give it some time to dry. It's not like it's going to be all super drenched because, you know, you got it with a towel. You can brush it back out, that way it goes with the grain of the suit. 
That way it dries all nice and fresh and you're not accidentally tugging at any fibers or anything like that. And yes, it's good that I did this example on a white piece of fur because, yeah. Of course, you know, the darker the fur, the easier it is to clean because it's kind of harder to tell. But like I say, any color, any fursuit, like any fur grade, I believe, like whether it's the minky long pile, I'm pretty sure it'll work with all of it because, you know. Make sure to dilute the awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it is very potent. All right, and then for the inside, you know, we're just taking like a baby wipe in this instance, but you can use any uh, kind of Lysol like a, wipe would be preferred, but we did not have any, so baby wipe is the next best. Thing. Yeah, just any any kind of wet wipe or whatever. Make sure you get like the area that your chin rests if you have a hinge jaw, and especially especially the bridge across your uh, forehead where the sweat collects. You want to wipe that down like all the time. Like the moment you take the suit off, you want to wipe that down. <laughs> And of course, it's just like it absorbs the sweat and, you know, it gets to the point where it's like super drenched and you can like squeeze it. But of course, that ultimately depends on how much you sweat and how long you wear the suit. But yeah, just all these little spots that, you know, when you're talking and, you know, the sweat collects and all that stuff. You just want to wipe all that stuff down, any high contact areas, just to keep your suit fresh, fresh and clean, clean. I know you, you see... Uh, see a little bit of handiwork I got on the inside of my head because you know there was just some system malfunctions that happened that were they were easy fixes but yeah normal wear and tear yeah it's gonna happen you know as your suits get older they are eventually gonna wear out and break so if you want to keep the whole fursuit thing live one you have to take care of the suits you have and then eventually you'll have to upgrade but yeah and of course, when it comes to the inside, you can wipe it out as much as you want. You know, some people, they're just a little bit OCD about their cleaning habits, but yeah. Also, and then when it comes to the brushing process, you want to make sure that you go against the uh, the bristles. Like, you know how they kind of point downward. You want to make sure that you brush, like, not with that, but against it. That way, like, the bristles are pointing with the fur and not against it that way it doesn't tear any of your fur out because this fur does not regrow and then i saw pudge <laughs> pudge kitty and they just give him a nice little brush i i still brush him like before i do any of my recordings just so he can look so fresh and so nice for the videos and for the fuzz butts out there and all that so yeah <laughs> Brushing takes a while. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, this is just on the head. Like when you're brushing your paws and your bodysuit and all that, it takes a little bit of time. But you might work up a nice little hairball on the brush, but that's gonna happen because any I of guess the loose. We'll use my bodysuit to do that video. Yeah, <laughs> I'll like wash the bodysuit. Just to get off any loose scragglies or whatever. Again, you don't need that much pressure because, like I say, it's. It's all synthetic and stuff like that, but just get a little nice 360 degree view on that thing. It is looking nice, looking fresh. So yeah, and stuff. <laughs> Does it for this episode of how to wash and slash take care of your fursuit heads. There will be, you know, like I said, more of these in the past, but for right now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. But as always, my name is Abba the Circle, and I'm out of here. <laughs> la, 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 la. Question of the day. To the first suit who's watching this, do you have a full suit or a partial suit? And which do you prefer and why? Or just a head. <laughs> <laughs> Post your thingies down there in the dibbly below and I'll share my thoughts with you guys. Why are you extra close? <sighs> yeah. <laughs>